So hello everyone and uh, yeah, welcome to my first product review actually in my new studio. I don't know if you can hear in the background, I have to apologise. If you hear the rumbling in the background, it's absolutely throwing it down in rain at the moment. Um, we've had a lot of um, storms this week in the UK and I think today is our turn. We've missed most of them, but we were certainly getting a lot of rain today. But today what I wanted to talk about was uh, colour calibrating your monitor and how important it is to do that if you're into printing or you just want to make sure that your your images are colour accurate. So as for as photographers there's um, there's nothing more satisfying than having spent weeks or months out in the field capturing the pictures you like, travelling around the world, um, especially with wildlife it takes it takes a long time to get those pictures. Um, so there's nothing more satisfying than actually bringing it home, processing it on your computer and then printing it off in a large large print and hang it on your wall or even you might even sell your work. So calibrating your monitor is one of those important steps that you need to do to be able to make sure that the colours and the, the brightness of the image that you see on your screen is translated through to the final print. Now I know um, calibrating your monitor sounds like a complex and lengthy process but it really isn't. Um, not with tools like this. So this is the uh, Spider X Pro by Data Color. Now, Data Color kindly sent this to me to review, and yeah, I actually own an older version of this. I bought about five years ago, so it'd be very interesting to see what the difference is between this product and the old version. And uh, yeah, so let's do a bit of an unboxing. I'll um, I'll show you I'll show you inside the box, and then we'll go and install the software and run through a calibration on my on my computer, which. For me, I'm using uh, iMac. I've got an iMac 27 inch 5K screen. So let's calibrate that and uh, see what the difference before and after calibration is. So there's the, uh, there's the box as you get it on the, as you bought it off the internet. And inside, oh, inside we have a card with a web address to go to to download the software. Not much to them really. And there's the actual unit, so it obviously plugs into a USB. And this piece, this piece here, hangs over uh, the front of your screen. I think essentially it comes apart. And this here hangs on your screen and monitor and measures the colours that are coming through your screen and creates a unique profile dependent on the screen you're using and the lighting that you have in the room at the time. So. So this is it, quite straight, quite straightforward. Um, so let's uh, let's plug it in, load the software, and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, according to the instructions, is download the software. So let's go to Safari, and uh, there's my website, and let's type in the address that. Uh, I showed you on the on the screen datacolor.com forward slash I've been here before as you can see and you're presented with this screen so we need to download the software so we're using the Spider X Pro and I want the Mac OS software so we'll click on that and let that download so after you've gone through the registration process you've installed stored this in the back of your computer and you've downloaded the software, you're presented with this, uh, this screen that you can see now. Um, so this is, uh, there are a number of steps here which you have to meet, so I'm not going to go through each of these individually. I guess the top one really is quite important, so it's saying that you have to allow your, your monitor to warm up for at least half an hour to get the, uh, the best out of the, uh, the calibration. Um, so I'm, I'm going to fulfill these criteria and I'm going to bring you back and show the actual calibration process when on the screen, so see you in a few minutes. Okay, so once you've been through all those processes, you're now ready to calibrate your screen. And you're presented with what you can see on the screen now. There's a template for you to actually place the Spider, Spider X in. Um, so let's do that now. I'm gonna video the screen actually during the calibration process so you can see what, what, what it actually does. And then show the before and after, after calibration, see the difference between the two. So once the uh, calibration has completed, you're presented with this 
screen. And this is where you basically name your profile that it's just created. So I'm gonna call this iMac uh, and the date. So that's the 16th of the, oh, the, uh, the 8th, 20. And it's a calibration reminder which you can set from any of these. So you've got one day through to six months. I'll leave it the default of six months and then save that profile. So once you've saved your profile, that's it complete really. Now. And you can now see you're presented with this, this screen here. And you can now switch between the calibrated, new calibrated profile and your previous profile. So let's do that now and you can see the difference. So if I, so this is on the new, new calibrated view. And if I switch back to the previous one, it's much cooler. You can see it's quite a, quite a blue tinge to it uh, compared to the calibrated version. Um, this is much more kind of richer in colors, got a slightly more warmer feel to it. So even even though I calibrate my monitor quite regularly, you can see how much it's drifted off over the time. And I've also changed the environment that I'm working in now. I've got this new studio, different lighting. So I guess that may have had some effect on it. So you can see from, from this change how important it is to regularly calibrate your screen. So that's it really, that's how you calibrate your screen. Um, very simple, very easy to do, very quick. It took about five to 10 minutes at the most. Um, so yeah, if you're really looking to process your images to so that they're color accurate and also take them through to printing, this is one of the tools that you really need to adopt. So yeah, why not give it a go? Um, you'll be surprised, you might be surprised how much your uh, monitor is off compared to, uh, to what it should be. So thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. It's a very quick video. Um, I'm traveling next week out doing some wildlife photography in Suffolk. So I'm hoping to bring you some more videos from the field. So until then, have a great week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.